ISIS fighters are battling Kurdish militias over what is now a ghost town. More than 90% of the population has fled the Syrian city of Kobani. Canadian fighter jets are about two weeks from joining the coalition air campaign against ISIS. They're setting up in Kuwait right now, which is where our Mike Armstrong is following developments tonight. Mike? Well, Robin, it's almost as though there isn't much left to fight over in Kobani, but it appears ISIS is determined to take it because of its strategic location. The city is tucked up right against the border with Turkey. This is the view from the Turkish side today. But it sits in Syria, positioned between two parts of the country ISIS controls. If it can take Kobani, it will be able to link the two areas and move fighters and supplies where they're needed. Now, the Turkish military has watched the battle for a month as Kurdish militias try to hold off ISIS. There has been help for the Kurds from the U.S.-led coalition. There were massive airstrikes Saturday. The U.S. has said it is considering arms transfers to the Kurdish fighters. There is some support in Turkey for that. This is a protest Sunday in Istanbul, but it appears there is little support from the government. The Turkish president today said he views the Syrian Kurdish militia fighting in Kobani as an extension of a separatist group that's fought in Turkey for three decades, the KPP, the Kurdistan Workers' Party. The KPP is designated a terrorist group by the U.S., NATO and Canada. The United Nations head of humanitarian affairs walked through a refugee camp in Turkey today, this one again in a border town close to Syria. The school she visited is now housing 5,000 people who fled ISIS and the civil war at home, and that's barely a drop in the bucket. In the nearly four years of this crisis, uh, 900,000 people have been re registered as refugees here in Turkey. The reality is that the numbers are nearer to 1.6 million. Now, despite the strain that's meant on Turkey, it's still not joining the fight against ISIS. It wants the U.S.-led coalition, including Canada, to do more to target the regime of Syrian President Bashar Assad. Basically, it doesn't like any of the groups that are fighting, but its biggest problem is with Assad.